Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2019 SEMA show and I came across a 1968 car hauler I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. What about that? That's SEMA, baby, you just never know what you're gonna find at SEMA. And in slammed heavy duty trucks the last few years, trucks have been, you know, becoming more and more popular, but the heavy duty working type of trucks getting customized there's always a few of those that, at SEMA and I'm I'm always glad to see them they're cool different and cool and this one is a 1968 c50 crew cab you say Scotty they didn't make a crew cab to 1973 you'd be correct they did not but these boys got a hold of a 1970 suburban that's <laughs> what they started with and they cut it down to make the crew cab and then they had to fabricate the back doors and then they had to mount a C50 front end to it. So you got the heavy duty truck looking look to it, you know? A lot of work, all right? Simply put, a lot of work went into this simple looking project because, you know, at first glance you think, oh yeah, it's a cool old truck. You know, somebody's fixed up, slammed on the ground, put some 22 inch 10 lug semi wheels on and man, there you go, cool paint job, nice. But then you realize, and you know I don't know nothing. I, <laughs> I did a little research to find out they didn't make it with these things. Because I, when I first saw it, I, I thought the same thing. I was like, you know, that's cool. You know, a classic truck in car hauler. You could, you know, haul your cars around on it and have a, have a functioning type of hot rod, heavy duty truck. Cool idea. But then to find out, well, no, they never made that. It wasn't, they didn't, it actually didn't come out until what would that be like five years after 68, they had the first crew cab. And these boys here went and made their own nice interior too. I mean, you could spend all day in that. Not overdone. The truck's not overdone. The truck is, is still very functional in my opinion. It looks functional. I would take for granted you could haul cars with it if that's what you wanted to do. And I would suspect at some point that's what they will do. I mean, there's no sense in having all this going on and just like cruising around town trying to pick up chicks, right? <laughs> I mean, you got if you had a hot rod on the back of that thing, now just think how well you'd be doing. But I thought, again, I thought it was cool, you know, and then once I started doing some research on it and found out how much work had actually gone into this thing, it actually, it just blew my mind. I dig it. Everything looks like it could have came from Chevrolet back in 1968. And me not knowing, so for, you know, that's no big surprise. Looks, I don't know nothing but cool. I knew this thing was cool. But I would think that there's a lot of people that, you know, know a little bit about trucks that would think the same thing. It was just a classic cool truck. Out of the park, boys. That's what they did there. They knocked one out of the park. And then it's got the uh, modern Duramax diesel engine in it and very OEM but clean looking up underneath there you know obviously custom inner fenders and um, radiator support and all that kind of stuff but not too crazy not too custom because the rest of the trucks not too crazy or custom just very cool so there you go from the 2019 SEMA show a 1968 car haul Chevrolet C50 crew cab they never made but there it was hope you all have enjoyed it see ya Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.